Hello, in this presentation, we will enter adjusting entries related to the bank reconciliation process for February into our bookkeeping problem in Excel, keeping in mind how that same information might be input into accounting software such as QuickBooks. We will first take a quick look at QuickBooks and then move to Excel. When considering Excel or QuickBooks, what we are doing within the bank reconciliation process, what we have done in a prior presentation, is compare the bank statement to the books and look for those items that are not matching, are not tying out. Items that are on the bank statement that are not on our books are items that need to be adjusted for. Uh, as we do that in QuickBooks, typically we'll do that in the same point in time, meaning we had a withdrawal and a service charge on the bank statement, not on our books. What we're gonna do is just enter that into our books. We go to the register, we're gonna say, here's the $100, we're going to say it was an owner draw in the register, decrease in our cash account, record in the other side too, the owner draws. And then if we jump back to the bank reconciliation, we just adjusted that. We fixed our books and can now check it off on the bank rec. And then we can do the same thing for the service charges, the $20, the bank service charges. And yes, this is just a quick example. We'll see this in Excel and see how we'll deal, deal with this in Excel. And we'll then be able to jump back. This is adjusting the bank balance. We'll be able to jump back and just check it off in our bank reconciliation. And after we do that, then we can reconcile the only reconciling items then being the outstanding checks and deposits. Let's take a look at this process in Excel. Last time in Excel, we entered a bank reconciliation for the month of February, reconciling the checking account. We're going to go over and see the reconciliation at this time. So we're going to scroll to the right, scrolling all the way to the right till we get to our bank reconciliation. And it's going to be all the way. We see this is the January bank reconciliation. We want to be in February. So the one right next to it is the one we are currently working on. It's in columns EM through FE, EM through FE. You'll recall that we did the bank reconciliation. We tied everything out. And we had these adjustments that were on the bank statement, not on the books, those of these two items here, this $100 withdrawal and the bank service charges. These are items that the bank, we didn't realize that were there until we got the bank statement. And now we're saying, hmm, we're not gonna get that money back. We're gonna have to actually adjust our books for those amounts. We show that over here in the bank reconciliation as is typically done in most book problems where we have the bank book balance. Here's our beginning book balance. And then we have our two adjustments, the withdrawal and the bank service charges. In essence, what we need to do is make our, our ending balance adjust for those two, meaning we need to include those two decreases. So at the end of the day, we're going to have two more items here on our bank reconciliation. There's going to be a $100 decrease and a $20 uh, decrease and if we were to to copy this down then uh, then we would have our adjusted balance here which would match that out so we actually need to fix this item rather than uh, just reconciling it here once we do that then this will be our reconciling item what we'll do is then journal entries in order to do that so we're gonna make a journal entry for the withdrawal we're going to make a journal entry for the bank service charges. We're going to do this with two separate journal entries. We could combine them, but we're going to do them with two separate journal entries. We're going to say that the withdrawal is something that was taken out of the bank, and we don't know exactly what it was for, but we suspect that it was for personal use this time. And therefore, rather than putting it to miscellaneous expense, we're going to put it to a draws account. And then the second one's going to be a bank service charge, so it's going to decrease cash, and we are going to enter the other side of that to be an expense of bank service charges. So let's do that now. We're gonna go all the way to the left to get to the uh, general journal. So we're just scrolling left. We're taking a scroll all the way to the left and we will enter our adjustments all the way over here. It's gonna be as of the end of the month. So we're gonna say as of 228, we're in cell U15, U15. Is something happening to the checking account? Yes, we're gonna say it's gonna go down. We're going to say it's going to go down first by that withdrawal, that $100 withdrawal. So we're going to copy the checking account in AJ5, right click and copy. We're going to put that on the bottom because we will be crediting it in V16, right click and paste, one, two, three. We're then going to format that, going to go to the home tab, alignment and increase the indentation. We will have a credit. It's going to be in X16 of negative 100. 
We're then going to debit something for that same amount, that $100. We just need to know what that debit then should be. And we're going to say that that 100 was taken out 